Hey there folks and friends connecting dots here. It's Sunday, September 21st, 2014. Okay, so if you haven't seen the videos here, I've up, started uploading this weekend, please go check them out because this is all relevant. This is all part of it and uh, the, the guest host, or I should say not the host, but the, uh, the the main character in those videos was all Montagraph and how he's all supported by this network of uh, so-called truthers who don't seem to be able to connect the dots on that one uh, and nor are they able to connect the dots on Golden silver and or they can they figure out the cure for Ebola but that's okay folks we'll leave the links down below so these people can all figure it out or they'll probably subscribe to me and listen to my videos and have it figured out sooner or later so in his latest attack here on gold and silver as you can see the date here just uploaded this one today as I said he it is my research has found that all these silvers all these shills all connect back up to gold and silver BP Earthwatch Montagraph they're all part of this big network of uh, gold and silver I'll have to make a long video on that one because it's a lot of dots to connect on that one and it's going to be a big eye opener but let's stick here with this latest round of foolishness because uh, uh, in this video here Montagraph is telling you all that well the mega rich over in uh, yeah, uh, Sierra Leone in Africa that's where this Ebola has broken out well they're all stuck now because now there's a major 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 cut down in the city and no one's moving which is an absolute load of BS as if they're gonna let people sit in their homes and all starve to death no there is some type of martial law medical martial law but it's uh, not the type of martial law that they're all making it out to be so no one's stuck at home they're still able to go in and out and regardless the mega rich people that he's talking about well guess what they're in mr. monograph they're no longer in town yeah they're mega rich they took their money and they're gone but regardless the point is here is that you need to be educated on gold and silver and Ebola and I'm going to stick with that. So number one, during a uh, crisis, gold and silver are very important, long history on that and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but more importantly, right now during a crisis, the type of crisis we're talking about, even if you had paper money, it ain't going to make a change, it make a big difference. If you had stacks of it, it ain't going to make a change. Even if you have loads of gold, well, yeah, you could go to get out of Dodge a lot faster. Uh, you know. You can do a lot with gold and you'll find out in the, in the hold on here I got some proof on you it's because you don't know what you're talking about you're the silver shill gold shill, uh, shill you're a shill on everything except <laughs> information and knowledge so education time for you class <laughs> I don't mean the rest of you I'm talking to him because he, he has this uh, this attitude where he thinks he's actually smart and the rest of them. So he doesn't know anything what's going on in gold and silver. In the history of gold and silver, gold has helped out a lot of people. There's a long history of it and uh, well, I'll leave the links down below so you folks can find out how many of the German Jews got out of Nazi Germany because they had gold, not cash. The cash had turned to nothing. It, it had fallen. There was a collapse. Yeah, yeah. These crises you're talking about. Well, Germany went through one, and that's how Hitler became in power, because they fell to almost nothing. People were loading up. Rich people were taking some of their cash. Were actually burning it. So if you go read the history, and I'm not gonna. I'll leave the links here. You folks can go read all these different reports. Okay, I'm just pulling one out here, where this one here talks about the little children had little bits of gold sewn into their socks and hidden inside their shoes so they could eat when they got to England. Why did they take gold? Because their currency had turned to nothing. There was a crisis in their country. So people don't know a lot about gold and silver and I'll get into that in a second. First I want to tackle the Ebola. I'm not going to get back into this um, Mr. Montagraph and the rest of you that are not informed on this. I uh, will wait for you to debunk me. I've already made two videos on this. Anyone who's looking for the cure, it uh, was put out here and the gentleman came and put his comment out and Google censored the comment and I still had my bandy cam, bandy cam on and was actually making a video and all of a sudden I refresh it and you get to see it live how Google actually got rid of the gentleman's both of his comments on how to cure Ebola was gone he was giving you a heads up here so I'm telling you folks go get informed do your own research and I'm waiting for anyone to debunk me they're not going to all they will say is uh, yeah nonsense I don't have time for this nonsense and um, well this young woman here you may want to watch these videos here because uh, well they, they talk how they've run e uh, sorry silver through a series of tests 
all types of germs. I've talked about how the, Na how the astronauts at NASA, when they start their space training and during their space flight and their mission, and not until they come down, come back to Earth, will they stop drinking colloidal silver. Why is that? Because it kills all foreign germs. Anything that doesn't belong in a body, it attacks it immediately. Go watch the videos, get informed. Now, getting back to gold and silver. True enough, if people bought it here, well, yeah, the mega rich, maybe they would have suffered a bit. But like you say, if you got money and you're putting that extra cash in gold and silver, well, you can always sell it anyways, and you probably have some money put in the bank. Only a fool like myself went and stuck all his money, all of his money, back when gold was back in the $15, $16 range. So uh, am I suffering right now at $17.50? Absolutely. But guess what, folks? You know where I really suffered? It was after a 2011 radiation tour when I broke my neck, my C6. C5 C and C4 yeah so I sat on my silver throughout all of this and that's what's carried me through all of this so um, the long what I'm trying to get at here is um, gold and silver have been in our history for a long time your Bibles talk about it and um, your Constitution talks about it and the charts show you that it's never fallen to zero but the money, the paper money, not only has it fallen in Germany to zero, but uh, was it 3,368 times in the past paper money has fallen to zero. So paper money falls to zero. Gold and history have always retained their value. That's why it has a trading history of over 6,500 years in our history. Gold and silver, folks. So if you're thinking about buying, hold off here. I made a video a couple of days back telling you if we can't hold that uh, that uh, trending line of 1840 or 1830, if it goes lower, we've fallen lower here. Silver has fallen down to 1750 and I truly believe this has to do with the big election coming up November 30th. Where else? The only country in the world where they have direct democracy. Remember that folks. I'm going to be singing that song for a while here because direct democracy where uh, coincidentally where all these rich people happen to be hiding their money is the only country in in the world where you have people actually have a say over what goes on in their government their laws their rules nothing gets pushed through it's not like our uh, government re by representation so I believe that silver uh, gold will fall back down I can't guarantee but I think it will see a thousand dollars again by November 30th. The reason why is because they're going to vote on November 30th, the people in Switzerland, if they want 20% of their currency back by gold. They're in the process of the, they're demanding their gold be brought back from Canada and other countries back to, to Switzerland, but they're also running another referendum where they want to back their currency. And remember, it's not like the other governments. The people that, that they elect don't have power. The people, that the citizens of that country hold all the power they can even veto anything that gets passed they have absolute power over their government so they will be voting and I believe the powers that be will don't want them to be backed by gold because as soon as you have one country that has a gold standard we immediately all around the world fall on a gold standard because you can go travel go to that country go to anywhere they exchange money and say hey can you give me some Swiss money for some of my US dollars or some of my Canadian dollars boom you've got yourself some gold 20 percent right there holding in your hand so I believe that the powers that be will bring the gold and silver down Yes, continue bringing it down. Could I be wrong? Possibly, but I believe this is very important. This is why they took down Gaddafi. He was in the process of creating an African Union dinar. Uh, it was in process of getting all of the African states together. And coincidentally, uh, if you go listen to Gaddafi's uh, UN speech, he talks about what? The vaccines. So yes, the Ebola scare is all about the vaccine. Don't be worried about it. The people that control this country, uh, this world, the military industrial complex that you've all been warned about, well, most of them live in the United States. So there won't be any wars in the United States. There might be some false flags, but no wars. There won't be an out Ebola outbreak. If there will, it'll be fake and trying to get you to sca get scared to go get a vaccine. Stay away from that crap. Get informed, okay? The colloidal silver is there. Anyone who's done any information, any research on this, they've got it figured out. Okay, so hang tight, folks. We're going in for a little drop. And uh, if not, get ready to start stacking because we're going back up. This train this is not done here. I'll have to make another, many other videos on silver because I'm going to talk about the medical properties, how the U.S. Army has it all in their socks, T-shirts, and underwear. 
uh, how they actually have fabric now to put on planes and trains and all the seats so your germs die if you leave them behind as you get up germs stay behind well they, they haven't found a single thing that's lived more than um, up to eight minutes in a petri dish with silver that's how nasty it is just think about back in the day when they had no refrigeration how come we didn't have a bunch of dairy farmers complain of all the sour milk well, that's because uh, all of the uh, containers that held your milk were all lined with silver. Even the cream and milk separator back on the farm, the old one, I don't know if you folks are from the farm, but I am, um, it, you know, the old cream separator, all lined with silver. So there's no doubt about it, silver has a lot of magical cures. I'll have to make some more videos on it. It's something I've been talking about for years. No, I don't buy, uh, so, uh, sorry, no, I don't uh, have a sponsor. I don't sell silver bullion. I wish I did. And... Um, yeah, I advise you to get on it. Hang tight. Could be a little drop. How low will it go? 15, possibly. I'm not going to put a number on it. I'm watching back. I'm watching as this uh, plays out here. November 30th, uh, I'll watch by then what takes place or before then if I see we, we, we turn around and the trend starts going upwards. But right now, as I watch the charts on a daily basis, I see this uh, continuing to fall. Uh, so there you go. Even as I just... Uh, refresh this and uh, we just took a drop in the Sunday market so uh, hang tight I don't think this is the bottom I think she may go a little lower and if not well then be prepared those of you that have some money uh, jump in there because this boat's not done um, you may recall that the United States uh, sorry the USGS uh, did a global mineral report in 2003 and they said that silver would be the first element on the periodic table to be extinct according to consumption rates 2003 consumption rates our rates have continued up here there's more patents applied for every year consecutively using silver more than any other commodity on earth that's a present indicator of future demand hang tight folks it's all going to change real soon even my friend there that got a nasty blood infection they had to shoot him up with silver and he, as he's sitting around watching TV uh, healing up first on the antibiotics because once they shot him up in silver he said he, I was up within three four days running around but while he was sitting around on the antibiotics for the first two weeks waiting for them to work get rid of the uh, blood infection he was watching uh, well uh, alternative energy documentary that's what it was and he was saying how the manufacturers of solar panels are actually looking at making solar panels made out of gold instead of silver because of what? The impending shortage of silver is what the host was talking about. So there's no doubt about it. There's an impending shortage coming in on one of the world's most needed commodities. And yeah, the Silver Shill, um, the network is out there trying to lead you astray, uh, buy some copper, buy this, buy that, hang tight. Things are going to change real soon, folks. But first, we may see a little dip first. So hang tight. It's going to be informative as direct democracy plays out in uh, Switzerland, November 30th. Let's hang. Let's see what happens. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the info.